What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Detroit Red Wings and we're picking up where we left off here just after the draft. Got Jack Hughes, won the lottery, had a very good draft. We're going to be pretty, I mean, we're getting up there. We have a really good prospect pool building up right now. And uh, as we approach here in free agency, we could look to just fill out a few other spots in our roster. We do need to pick some stuff up. Now, I did see a comment that said, yeah, probably not many people are going to want to come to the team. Like, you know, but uh, looking for fringe guys, I think some certain fringe guys would because they'd only be maybe third liners or lower on other teams and stuff like that, especially for the defensemen, like guys around like 82 and stuff. They're like fringed, like like top sixes on any good teams. And if they don't have any interest, like why not put some interest into them, you know, offer them some good cash for just this, you know, short term. So I'm not going to go too overboard and I'm not going to go for any like, you know, decent players like, well, I mean, and any like good players who could like be in a solid spot on a competitive team. Anyway, but before we get started with all that, we do have three different winners to win, to read off from the uh, point scoring contest from last year. Now, first off is a uh, Cabby Tetro who guessed uh, team lead was Larson and league lead was Eric Carlson. She guessed goalie Bobrovsky or. Yeah, goalie Bobrovsky, which was uh, incorrect. It was Freddie Anderson alone up there at the top. Uh, secondly, yeah, this guy wins a lot. Swagalicious Gaming, uh, I guess Team League, uh, L Dylan Larkin League lead was Eric Carlson. Vasilevsky, which is always a solid bet in that first year, but unfortunately he did not get the job done. And last but not least, oh goodness, uh, TK14800 guessed uh, Team League was Larkin and uh, League lead Eric Carlson. Ray Laner, you know, that actually threw me off. I've never actually seen anyone guess Robin Laner there, but some love for the Islanders goaltending right there. Hopefully the uh, the winner of the uh, Masterton. Alrighty, so we got that taken care of. Now let's take a look at the free agency and maybe reassess what we uh, are going to be trying for here. So not going to go for T Toffoli. Johansson, he might be a bit too good. Like, he looks like he might be like 84, so we can go a bit lower. I know Nyquist is an 83, and the team interested in him right now is another, well, kind of tanking team, an expansion team. So I think we can compete with them to sign him. Uh, other than that, though, maybe not go after Johansson here. But we'll see. If, if he holds off, if no one's going for him, then we could go, then we could take a shot at him. Uh, maybe Char- eh, I was thinking maybe Charlie Coyle, but, eh, it doesn't look great. But, uh, Tyler Myers, I think, is a guy we can grab. For sure, I mean, no one's interested in him right now. Again, one of those, like, kind of fringe guys. And the, the main reason I'm looking at him is because, well, no one's interested in him. But we do, do have to be a little bit careful with Cap. We can't go too overboard. But a couple year deal for this guy. I'll try to get him for five and a half. Again, I'll try to save a little bit of money here and there. And uh, I will try to bring back Gus Nyquist here. And we'll try for like, maybe we can go like to like six and a half, maybe seven for a couple. You know, we could do seven. I don't want to lose him to Seattle, actually. Bring back Goose. And then... Basically, we're looking for guys here who could Justin Williams is an interesting one. I'm basically just looking at guys who might not be able to get signed because I'll, I'll say like no to Johansson. I think that makes a bit more sense to not go after him. It looks like he'll be a bit better than Nyquist. I know Nyquist is only like an 83, so uh, Johansson, on the other hand, he should be able to get more interest at a at a certain point. If he doesn't, if like no one's interested in him after this like first little jab, like I'll, I'll take a stab at him depending, but I'm not going to go all out for him right now. Shiri, no. I'd almost say go for Broussard, but I don't think so. We'll let Joe Thornton go to a potential winner. All right. Well, we do need at least one more defenseman, maybe two. Uh... No one's interested in Spurgeon, but I feel like that will change, so I'll hold off on that right now. I think he's like in, I 
I think he's almost 80. I don't know. I can't remember his overall. But we'll try to go for guys who don't look like they have a whole lot of interest. Maryland Pissick might make a bit of sense. I know they're more top six guys, but we don't have the luxury to go after like, oh, they're both. That's a righty and a lefty, too. You know, let's go for these two. Or maybe just one of them. We'll go for Merrill and then see if we want to grab Spurgeon as well. If no one is interested in him. We'll wait. We'll give other teams a chance here to kind of go for some stuff. Let's offer him that. And then we're going to try to also get Markstrom in goal. Although there are two teams interested in him. But who is interested in Markstrom? He is solid. He's right in his prime too. Carolina, Calgary. Yeah, they're better. So let's go for Halak then. Try to snag Yarrow Halak for a year at least. Let's do three and a half mil for a year. That should be affordable. He should want to go for that. All right. Now, I think we'll sim up a couple days and give other teams a chance to start putting offers on things before we see if we want to grab anything else. So let's advance here. I got, yeah, I did a bunch of new uh, new scouting type stuff. We're going to have a better scouting crew this coming year. I got like six new ones. Should be one more or two more. I don't know. Maybe. Yep. There we go. All right. So we did get, okay, Myers rejected. He went to the Blues instead. Got Halak. We got Nyquist. We got Merrill. So... No Tyler Myers, so we'd still need two other defensemen here. I have two, hopefully that other guy, top six type guy is not gone. Is, is still no one interested in Johansson? Okay, no, that's not him. Dude, no one's interested in Johansson still. I mean, <laughs> looks like left wingers aren't in a, you know, not a lot of people interested in those left wingers. Someone wants Justin Williams now. I'll go for him. Still no interest in Spurgeon either. But uh, the other guy, was it Pissick we were looking at? Uh, maybe. But I'm going to try for Spurgeon then because still no one's interested in him. We're not going to go overboard with the price. I'll, you know what? I will go a little bit more. We're not going to be any crazy good this year, but if I have Yaro Halak, I want to give give a slight chance with some defense for him to make him have a you know an opportunity to maybe get some stat growth, so we could either hold on to him for a bit and become a little bit more competitive, or trade him for uh, assets. Okay, I'm looking at my prices here. This will pretty much fill it up, but we don't need much else if we do indeed get Johansson here. Anyway, I'm just doing some quick math in my head there. I don't know if he accepts that. I could try for it. I'm going to try for it since no one else is interested in him. We might lose him to that, but again, not the biggest of deals. But I'm very surprised that no one's interested in him yet. It looks like left wingers are kind of at a lower priority because Johnson here, or Janssen, he's tendered, so that's why he has the interest. But... Nemesnikov, okay, he's not tendered, but lower on the uh, priority list. And Vonik is still there. All right, let's see if we get anything right there. If not, I won't worry about it. All right, we got them both. Yeah, they just didn't have any other offers from anyone, which is very weird. Kind of strange to see that, but, you know, I'll take it. Uh, let's take a look at the roster now. I wasn't even initially going to go for Spurgeon, but it looked like zero other teams were interested in him. Maybe I could have waited longer, but I also didn't want to let a bunch of other guys get picked up within that time. Yeah, it looks like Spurgeon will actually be more closer to 80. Actually, he might be 84 on the dot. I'm not too sure what Johansson is. Maybe 84 as well, 83, 84. So it's not like we're getting crazy studs or anything like that. These are fringe second liners who are probably going to be playing on the third line just to help build up. Uh, Jack Hughes. That's kind of the goal with these guys. It's not going to make our team insanely good. And yeah, even our defensive core still is pretty bad. 
We could even get one more, like top six guy. We, uh, we do have some cash. I'm all going to get him for a year if I do get him. All right, I'm just counting righty lefty here. I think we'll need a righty. Yeah, let's try to find a righty top six guy then. And Sulak can be depth again. It wasn't super happy with that, but whatever. Someone can be depth. We have enough. And goaltenders, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got four. Perfect. All right, let's look for one kind of top six guy. And then that'll be perfect for our free agency here. Because we actually need someone to play there. No one since in Kulikov. Hold on. Yeah, it was a righty I needed. Yeah. Sherrod. Nope. Chris Weidman. Isn't this guy off? Yeah, he's an offensive defense. And I don't necessarily want that. Michael Stone. Yes. I'll only get this guy for one year. But I'll give him like two and a half. There we go. All right. That should do it. Oh, what the heck? Didn't mean to go that way. All right, let's advance a couple days here. See if we can get stone. Uh, nope. Don't need that. There we go. All right, so that is going to be our roster now. Just filled them out with some fringe players, as any you know lower franchise would be able to possibly do. And I think we're ready to sim up here. I'll start getting the lines taken care of. I'll send out my scouts. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, here we go. These are our, our lines that we're going to be going with. Marcus Johansson, Larkin, and Mantha. This is actually hilarious. Every single forward we have is a lefty. So <laughs> we will uh, be fixing that um, when we start getting our team together. But I've actually never been. I don't think I've ever seen that. Entire forward core lefties. Anyway, second line, Bertuzzi, Anthony, and Franz Nielsen. And then third line, we're going Nykvist, Hughes, and Zadina. So I'm hoping this third line can get some solid production with these three. That's kind of the goal. We're going to try to help out Hughes and Zadina there by putting Nykvist uh, on the wing. And then Helm, Rasmussen, and Abdelkader on that fourth line. Defensive core, DeKaiser, Spurgeon, Stone, Merrill, Chalowski, and Hronik. Uh, special teams. Going to try Zadina on that top power play with uh, Larkin and Mantha. We'll see how he does. I'm actually kind of, kind of interested in seeing how that works with Spurgeon. Then Tyler Bertuzzi on the point. And then Nyquist, Hughes, Johansson. Try, again, trying to just ba basically baby Hughes there and get that second power play unit producing with Merrill and Rasmussen on the point there. Penalty kill. I didn't really change too much at all. I'll let that kind of roll out with how it is. Should be okay. We'll see. And then extras here. Larkin, Mantho, Spurgeon, DeKaiser, Hughes, Zadina. Going to give Chalowski some extra ice time here and there. And then Anthony Siud Nykvist. Is that right? Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I have Zadina. Just making sure. Basically, you want Zadina in there. All right. And there's the three on three lines. Extra attacker, Larkin, and Nykvist. And shootout lineups. Is as follows. Got Zidina and Hughes in there. Here are goaltenders Halak and Bernier. And scratches. We got Sulak, Witkowski, and Glenn Denning as scratches. And I'll show you my age. I'm going to start uh, Svechnikov in the AHL. I just don't know if he'll be ready for NHL. If he is, well, I can make a move. But as of right now, and we got no one scratched with any sort of potential. If it'll let me scroll over. Okay, anyway, take my word for it. None of these guys have potential. The scroll is being slow right now. <laughs> Everyone with some potential is playing in our AHL. All right. And we got no captain this year. So we're going with triple alternate. And I'll show you guys that right now. We got Larkin as an alternate. Uh, it changed on me. It changed on me. Your Mantha's not supposed to be an alternate yet. Excuse me. 
There. <laughs> Larkin alternate, Nielsen alternate, and uh, DeKaiser as an alternate. Because Franz Nielsen is actually listed as a leader in the morale thing. So I want him to have a, a letter. And Larkin, well, deservedly so. This guy is played. He's been a nice uh, presence there for, uh, for the Red Wings here. And two other guys who might be departing. So we it basically will free up two more letters for guys that we will maybe think of the future deserves it. But for right now, that's what we're rolling with here. So if you guys want to, you know, pay attention to the next couple years and see who we think deserves to get that C on their chest. Other than that, I've got my scouts sent out. I think we are just about ready to go here. We're not, I think we're still going to pretty much tank. Speaking of which, let's check our draft pick situation. We could have 12 total still. This is the second year draft. That first one doesn't count because it's not really a draft. You don't acquire the picks. They're just there. We have four in the first two rounds, so we can grab another first or another second. Uh, all right, that's six, seven, eight, nine. We got 10 picks total, so we can acquire two more total and only one more in the first two rounds. So bear that in mind for this year. Zikov is not going to be ready for NHL, but he should be. At, uh, this guy's a lefty, isn't he? No, he's a righty. Thank God. <laughs> Yay. We got some righties coming up. Speaking of which, though, a few more forward prospects would be good. And uh, righties would be nice. So I think we're... I mean, we got so many defensive prospects last year that I really don't think that we're going to need much of anything in the way of defensemen for this coming draft. So we'll focus on forwards for sure and try to find some righties because most of our existing prospects are lefties. So try to get a mostly righties, but maybe a couple lefties in there for good measure. I'm not going to just look for that completely, but it's definitely something that we're going to want to pay attention to. So let's get this started here. Get past the preseason and the first little month. Wow. Three back to backs in the first month. Schedule makers were not kind to Detroit here. So Bernier is going to be getting his playing time in. All right, we'll see. This is not. This is still not going to be a good team. This will probably be still a bit of a tank year, but I want to see our production go up. And if we can maybe get lucky and have a really good year from Halak, I don't, I don't anticipate it. This is why I only gave him a one-year contract, because he is 34. But if for some reason he comes out of nowhere and has a great year, gain some value on him, Maybe use him for another year and then trade him or just trade him off the bat for some, you know, really solid stuff. We'll see. We are definitely compliant. Yep, waivers will be in effect. Here we go. So, not a bad preseason. Get out of here. Already assigned my scouts. Let's see what happens here. We've lost locker room chemistry before we even played a game. No, I guess we lost both of them. All right, so we start off the season with two L's. Pretty expected. Another L. Not scoring a whole lot. Only five goals in three games. Not what we want to see. So, yeah, we know Lafreniere is going to be here. Another lefty. More lefties. We'll probably have a pick in the top, so doesn't matter, though. And then a right-handed defenseman. So that's going to be an abundance, apparently. Don't have a whole lot of info yet. At all. Let's sort by potential, see if we got luck. Yeah, whoa, one's actually really close to being scattered out. Not bad. All right, keep an eye on that stuff. Can we win a game here in this first month? No, still losing. I was really hoping for better production from that third line especially. We'll have everyone scouted here. Yeah, we have yet to have a three-goal game, and we've lost every single game. There we go, finally had a three-goal game. We scored four. I don't care if we lose. Just give me, like, you know, some, some goals. There we go. I don't mind that loss. 7-3 to three loss. We got three goals, four. So last three games, we've had 13 goals. That's a nice little uh, stretch. 2-6-1. and one. So not great. Locker room chemistry at 59. Should keep going down. All right. We should have everyone scouted by now. So we'll actually have a good idea. So, ooh, Zadina. 83. Is he actually, yeah, he's actually going to be ready for second line there. Interesting. Yeah, Johansson's even lower than I thought. Only four points. Four goals. Hmm. 
These guys aren't doing much better. But Zidane has top power play time, so he should be okay here. They just need to produce. Yeah, they just all they need to do is produce. It might be a case of no shooter. Well, I mean, Mantha... God, let me scroll over, dude. Being slow again. Is Mantha a big shooter, though? That, mm, 25 shots in 9 games played, not bad. Let's say, like, 8 times 25, essentially. So he's, like, 200 shot taker. It's not bad. Not a lot of shots from Zadina. Hmm. Two points on the power play. You'd think this third line would get better production right now. At least that's my thoughts. But unfortunately, not so much right now. Yeah, I'm going to keep Zadina where he is. I think he'll just do slightly better there. He's getting top power play time, so it should be enough ice time for his role. But he's not producing a whole hell of a lot yet. No, our whole team isn't, basically. And goaltender is terrible. Oh, just terrible. Both of them. Again, we don't have a great defensive core. That's definitely a contributing factor. Mm, Chalowski. I'm glad I'm giving him that extra ice time then now. He's an 81. Not too bad. Peronik's actually better than Stone. Do I want to move him up? I can try it. Let's see if we can make our team slightly better in certain ways. I don't, yeah, this third line, you need to get better. Might even play Hughes up. We might just shift them all to the second line. We'll, we'll continue with this, see how it does. But uh, that's always an option that we can do. Is shift that entire line into that second line. Even Hughes. It's not playing him in his role, but with franchise potential, it shouldn't matter a whole lot. I don't know. You guys can give me some feedback on that if we should do that. So let's continue here. See how we do. Another victory. We're starting to score goals, which is what we need. Ooh, MCL sprain. The fourth. He is out for a while. Poor Ronick, so. <laughs> that, that, that wasn't very long. His uh, tenure in the uh, top four. <laughs> All right, but Sulak going to get some ice time now. What the heck? Six to nothing win. We're starting to score now, which is what we wanted in the beginning. And now Chalowski's been injured. And that's another defenseman. Come on now. I don't have enough. Def I have two forwards. And I'm like, yeah, forwards should get injured more. No, of course not. All right, who do we want? I'm putting Witkowski in there. Do it. <laughs> it's always, it's always, whatever, whatever a surplus you have, the injuries will happen on the other side. Why? Did, is it just me or is like every beginning of the year is filled with injuries now? I, it's the same. I'm on the same uh, settings as I always have. Tw injuries, both sliders set at 20. Good year for rookies, cool. It's good to know. Good, Chalowski's back. So we can get him back in there. All right. Come on now, Detroit. What the heck? We're actually getting close to a 500 team right now. Better watch out. Couple shutouts in here. Dylan Simpson's fully healed. Now we're just waiting on MCL boy to come back. Svechnikov, 79. Third line. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Still, on, on, but only 79 overall. So I'm like on the fence. Might, if I'm not going to use him though, I should probably trade him. He's not going to grow too much more. I highly doubt it. What contract? I have him two years. Yeah. I'm on the fence with that. Eight points. Eight points. Ten points. They're doing okay. They're doing pretty good. I'm wondering, though, with the more ice time, if I put them on that second line, would they do better? 
I mean, more ice time, just more shots for Hughes. Zadina and Nyquist are both capable of playing that sort of ice time. Another injury. This time is to Anthony to see you. You know what? This is a good experiment time then. It was a perfect time to experiment then. Uh, can either of these guys take faceoffs? I think Glenn Denning can actually. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. I didn't mean to. Let's get him in there. Put him in there. I think he'll be fine there. Rasmussen's actually ready for her. Let's give him a bit of third line time then. We'll see. We'll see how they do here. They got eight, eight, nine, eight, nine, and ten for their points. We'll see how they do after that little change. I don't know if it went. I think that's the game the injury actually happened in, so I don't think that'll count. Lost right there, but we got three goals for. That's all I really care about. If you if you lose, get th give me three goals at least. Yeah, we're starting to score. And that's exactly what we need. We need to get that production up. And as we build our defensive core, the success in that regard will follow, along with bringing up, you know, very uh, competent goaltenders. 9-12-2. Not completely tanking, but we're still not going to be a playoff team. So slight improvement, but still going to get uh, good draft options. All right, let's take a look at everything. But first, should I take... Let me check out that second line just by itself before I... So Hughes had eight points. Wow. That's a lot in that stretch. <laughs> that is a lot. He doubled his points in that stretch. He got 13. He was at nine. He got four. Nykvist had 10. He got four. But Hughes really seem to benefit I think I'll leave it like that then I think that kind of speaks for itself yep and I wonder if they'll do better playmaker playmaker sniper I mean Nykvist yeah he's listed as a sniper he's not really a sniper he is more of a playmaker so I don't know, maybe don't ruin a good thing since they did so well right there. Tough to say. Hey, DeKaiser, is, he got back up to uh, 82. I want to see how Halax, okay, not a big improvement. Some, okay. I guess, well, they are really, really bad to start off. But it seemed like for a bit our goalies were doing slightly better. There's a couple shutouts in there and stuff. Goodness, though, that huge jump. Unless I completely calculated that wrong, but I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure he had eight points. And now he's at 16. Like, <laughs> what? He's only got, f yeah, that, he, he started getting production, man. Two of his goals are game winners out of seven. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Can't hate it. All right. Let's take a look at everything Including team stats, because that will be sort of telling. Is our goals against actually up a good amount? Yes, it is. 2.78. If we can get that up to three for this year, I'll be happy. I don't care about the goals against. Power play is doing good. That's great. Penalty kill is actually not doing too bad, considering what our lineup looks like. We're not over 500 in either home or away. And we're under 500 in the last 10, but we are an under 500 team. Still improving. But this is, you got to kind of, kind of take this in stride this year. We are definitely making improvement. I mean, look at that. Hughes is second in points on the team. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Wow. Uh, Bertuzzi's not doing too bad. Mantha's got 14. Nykvist. Zadina with 13. He's got that top power play time as well. And now that he's getting this, maybe I should put him on the second unit. But our power play is doing so well, I almost don't want to change anything. You know what I mean? Rasmussen's actually a plus. Good for him. On this team, Rasmussen being a plus is good. And you know what? Almost averaging 0.5 points a game. Not doing too bad. He's 20 years old. He's got room to develop still. Might not be a center, but he could be a good utility scorer. Maybe a third liner to be capped out at. But you never know. I mean, he can get a lot better. 
Not a big shot taker, though. Yeah. Not bad. Not a whole lot of points being scored from our back end, but that's to be expected with how we're uh, built. Hopefully, Hirona comes back relatively soon. And, of course, our goaltender is really not that good, though Halak does have two shutouts. He could turn it around, but this is a non-statistical growth year for sure. He's not... He's not coming anywhere close to getting a uh, statistical growth. I know that. Unless he just completely turns and we just keep like doing really, really good. I just don't see that happening. Which again, part of the reason I only gave him one year. Just a fringe type goalie. Let's check out some progress reports here. See if we got any growth. See if Jack Hughes started making any strides. I don't doesn't look like it. Nope. And I think this is all going to be stat growth, maybe. All right, stat minuses. Yeah, Larkin with some stat boosts. If he has another good year, he might get a bit more. Helm might be declining. No, that's just statistical minuses. Same. Pretty sure all these guys, except for Bertuzzi, he's got stat growth because he had a good year last year. And Franz, oh, Franz is starting to naturally decline. Makes sense, given his age. In the system, Novotny. He's grown a bit. That starter guy's grown a bit. And one of our low elites has grown. But when it comes to all of our elites up there, nothing yet. Well, not a whole lot yet. At least Zikov's gotten a bit. Fair hasn't. Mm, yeah, he just turned 20. Earl. I, I have faith that these guys will all begin to grow. Uh, they're not all going to bust. It's just still very early. You're not going to see a whole lot of growth here, usually. I would like to see, like, a little bit more. Just give me, like, you know, a couple ticks here and there so I know that they're going to be growing. Mm, so I won't be as nervous, but it's, again, not a huge deal. Still doing pretty good. And I think we're, in, I mean, we're in decent shape for what we are. We're not dead last, uh, actually. No, it's, I mean, there's a few teams that are worse than us. Is that Calgary way down there? Yeah. What is, hold on. Hold on. I know they got eliminated by the Avs first round. And they maybe had a bit of a fluky season, but... Come on now. Oh. Yeah, they're still a one-line team. Makes a bit of sense then. <laughs> Even more of a one-line team, and now they don't have a goalie. Okay. <laughs> that makes a bit of sense. But still, I think they'd be a little bit better. James the bus Neil. All right. <laughs> it's still interesting to see them all the way down there. And New York Islanders. Again, you maybe even say they had a fluky year, though they handed it to the Pens, man. Got to give it up for their coach and the GM, man. All right, anyway. So here we are. A couple weeks in. Should I keep that second line going how it is? I think I might just do that because they, I mean, Jack Hughes' numbers spoke for themselves. Sedina, Nyquist. I think I like that combination. Even get some second line time. Keep that, keep the power plays how they are. I think our power plays at 22%. I don't think you would change it in there, but is there anything else that we can maybe take a look at? I don't think so. I think we're kind of playing our team to the best of its abilities right now, at least for scoring. And that's what we want to see. We want to get some good scoring years. Or have a, yeah, well, have a lot of guys with a good scoring year. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. And right now, we're kind of doing that. Zadina could use a few more points here and there, but he is still only 83. He's got good stats. Playing with Hughes, I mean, if Hughes is going to be shooting a ton, which he does. Yep. <laughs> and if he starts sinking a lot of those shots, his shot isn't great yet. But again, plenty of room to grow. So we're in a good spot right here. I think it'll keep those lines how they are. As long as he keeps pounding the net with shots, some of them will go in. Could have, probably have a 30-goal rookie year. Maybe even uh, be in that Calder race, especially right now, the way he's playing. And since we moved him up, that eight-point stretch he had was ridiculous. I mean, he had eight points over the whole first part of the season. And then in that, like, what, five game, four or five-game stretch, he had eight points. So, And that was right after we made that change up into that second line. So I think that's something we want to hold on to. Let me know what you guys think. Start, uh, you know, any possible trades. Uh, I know we should probably start thinking about it now if we're going to start, you know, trying to get some picks here and there. But we don't have tons and tons of value to go after like a top, top pick. So it would have to be, 
either go for a second or a later first and what would we want to give up for that so let me know what you guys think remember to leave that like and i'll see you guys in the next one if watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you be sure to go over there on twitter and shoot me a follow and you could even join our discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there the links to both are in the description